Breaking down the BattleBots bracket, Liverpool's first live event, and we're back at Rapture all this week in Robot Combat. Hello and welcome to the show. We start off by taking a look at this week's bracket fights. I'll do my very best not to spoil fights and there are some I couldn't find photos for. Apologies. We start off then by taking a look at Hypershock vs P1, a fast and frenetic fight. One not to miss. Bloodsport took on a Minotaur in a brutal display. The same could be said for Hijinx going up against Sawblaze, a true spectacle of sparks. Then Malice took on Scorpios for a spot at the 32 seed, the winner there, Scorpios. Lucky took on Copperhead in a YouTube exclusive fight now available, as did Uppercut and Huge. Truly an explosive one, definitely want to check that one out. The aforementioned Scorpios then took on the number one seed's endgame. Who wins? You'll have to watch the episode to find out. And for a reaction to all of this week's fights you can check out the Robocast where our special guest this week is Adam Wrigley and Paul Gankitano. I hope I've not butchered your name, Team Bots FC and Shatter. And speaking of Team Bots FC, they released a video this week showing off a new BattleBots applicant Emulsifier in heavyweight form. Be sure to go and check out that video, it's awesome. Team Huge put up a photo teasing a future fight that they're going to be in this season against Deep Six, this over on their official website, make sure to go and check that out. This week we also had an update on how the Swamp Thing build is going, an offshoot of Team Tombstone here. Looking pretty good indeed, you can definitely see the build ethics behind Tombstone in this as well. Now the fans asked for it and the team are delivering. The Rusty Plush is going to be coming soon, if there is enough love for it over on Kickstarter. They are just sorting out the final details, but when this thing goes live, the Rusty Plushes will be available at 49 US dollars a piece or 94 US dollars for two. Make sure to go and check out this Kickstarter if you want your own rusty plush like we saw on BattleBots. Rapture Gaming Festival announced that they would be returning to Medway's historic dockyard this year on July the 16th and 17th. Last year we had a lot of fun watching the Beetleweight action and you will find out this Thursday what our plans are for the 2022 event. We're very excited to be back in Medway, fighting more robots. Look forward to it. And speaking of the UK Beatles scene, Scouse Showdown took place yesterday at a pub in Liverpool, Liverpool's first ever robot event. You can see here Oliver Stapley taking us through the pits or the pub as it very much is, looking at some of the lineup of robots that were taking part yesterday. It was superb fun from what we saw. Unfortunately, the live stream had a few technical gremlins and so we didn't get to see that on the day, but the videos will be coming out very soon. I know for a fact that BBB are working hard to edit it ready for tomorrow. The feedback that I've been hearing is that the event was excellent, very chill, very laid back, and the top four were as interesting lineup indeed. Fourth place went to Jack Franklin's Luchador, third to Sam Graham's Oobly, second place was Felix Townsend's Mantra, and in first place, Sam Price and Baby Shrek. Well done to all four of you and all of the other competitors. It looked like a very cool event. And you're just seeing some of the fight footage on screen of Endboss versus Bad Father Mucker. This one was a crazy fight. Talking of crazy fights, over in France, they have been holding Maker Fight, an event for some bigger robots. I think they might be featherweights, though I'm not 100% sure, so sorry for that but it looked like a good event and fun had by all. Finally, there's just time to check through our fan submissions from the Discord if you want to take part. Make sure you join the Discord, of course. First up, Johnny from Team Stamina has been showing off Spartan's new weapon array ready for Norwalk Havoc coming very, very soon. Looking forward to that event and looking forward to seeing how well Spartan does. Crystal Carnage has built this new robot named Cardicle, a roulette wheel spinner. I like the theming. It's very, very nice. Next up, Strang underscore underscore has made this Snek, or as we like to call it, Claw Viper. It looks very, very nice and looks like a smaller weight class version. I'm excited to see this built. And finally, the biggest and best thing that I've seen this week are two very cool people, Ruben and Peter, who have designed a Grand Slam Nitro Arena for themselves. This is very cool. and I look forward to seeing more robots in it. And that's about all for this time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a like. 
do subscribe to the channel if you are new. Be sure to check out World of Woodrow on Facebook to keep up to date with all of the latest news. And check out the World of Woodrow Discord to be in with a shot of having them featured in the news. Until next time, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.